Welcome back to so watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We have a first major conversation this morning. The crisis rocking the All Progressives Congress uh, took another dimension on Monday when members of the National Working Committee rejected the Senate President Ahmed Lawan as its consensus candidate. The rebuttal is ours after the National Chairman of the party, Abdullah Adamu, announced Lawan as the party's consensus candidate. Adamu had dropped the bombshell during the meeting of the National Working Committee on Monday at the party's National Secretary in Abuja. According to him, the choice of Lawan was decided after due consultation with President Muhammad Buhari. Now, his pronouncement did not, however, go down well. It was reported with the NWC members of the APC as some of them kicked against the decision, demanding the party give every aspirant uh, a level playing field. And uh, addressing newsmen at the front of the party secretary in Abuja, the National Organizing Secretary of the APC, Suleiman Arugungu, uh, disclosed that the choice of Lawan was not a decision taken by the party as was being reported. Now, we're glad to say we have joining us one of the officials of the All Progressives Congress and chairman of the party in Cross River State, uh, Barrister uh, Oga Eba. Uh, good morning to you, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Good morning. Good morning, experience. All right. W were you part of that uh, NWC meeting that held yesterday? Hello. Yes, yes. Uh, can you hear me, sir? I can hear you now. All right. W were you part of that uh, National Working Committee that held yesterday? No. By my position as state chairman, a member of NEC. I fantastic. am not a member of the NWC, so I was not a part of the meeting. Fantastic, fantastic. So, so um, um, what is the what decision was taken by the National Executive Committee of the APC as regards consensus uh, uh, candidature for the party's presidency? No, like if you have been following rightly, the last meeting of the NEC, which I attended and also spoke on behalf of the chairman, we donated our powers to the NWC to take critical decisions of this nature. However, as we got to hear yesterday, to, shortly after what I described as a puzzle by the national chairman, the other members of the NWC came out very clearly to say that that was not the decision of the NWC. And do not forget, the powers we donated to the NWC in the last NEC meeting was not to be exercised by the national chairman acting unilaterally, but was to be exercised by the entire National Working Committee. So I will only, only urge Nigerians, particularly members of the APC, to lay to rest the press briefing that was given by the organizing secretary, even though it would have been properly given by the National Public Secretary. But the organizing secretary was right in saying that that was not a decision of the NWC. And that is what we want all Nigerians to take. Now, some people are saying that the APC has never been, you know, big on the issue of consensus. I mean, so um, it would never have been a thing. But what exactly is the position of the APC? I, we just have, you know, a few more hours before um, a flat bear emerges. What exactly is the position of the APC in terms of uh, picking a flat bear for uh, the 2023 elections? Presidential flag bearer, to be precise. No, consensus building and arriving at consensus has almost become like blood that runs through the veins of APC. There is no chairman of our party, from uh, Odege Oyegun down to Shomole, down to the present uh, national chairman. Even myself sitting here, we all emerged through consensus build and we arrived at consensus. So to say that it has not been part of us is not. No, I'm not but saying it hasn't been part of you. I'm saying that um, looking at this time, right now, yes. the APC has been very silent about consensus. And so it's quite shocking, as much as you're expressing that you have the chairman saying that uh, the Senate president has emerged as a consensus candidate. So uh, the APC has been very silent about consensus ahead of the 2023 elections. What exactly is the position of your party as regards picking a presidential candidate for 2023? No. We have not been silent about consensus. If you've been for of Mr. President and the, 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 the leadership of the party and the governors, all that he's been advising is consensus building. 
However, like I said again, the issue of announcing Ahmed Lawan yesterday was not through anything called consensus. That is why I started by saying that perhaps it was a puzzle. Hmm. All right. Uh, 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 Barrister Olga, do, uh, hearing you say that, um, uh, of course, it was reported in the press, after the National Executive Committee meeting of the APC, uh, you said you spoke on behalf of the chairman, the state chairman of the party, um, uh, donating your powers to the National Working Committee. Was the party chairman, um, Adamu himself, uh, in agreement with this? Because we're singing, seeing him sing a different song. At that time, was it an, a, 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 an agreement, a decision of all of the NEC of the party? I didn't get you clearly. The line was breaking right away. Right. Okay, but, but can you hear me now? Asking your question. Can you say it again, please? But can you hear me now, sir? Yeah. No. Yes, okay. Barso, I, I'm saying that um, you've, you've reminded us that the NEC of the APC held a meeting and uh, uh, after that meeting donated its powers to decide a consensus uh, presidential candidate for the party to the National Working Committee. Was the party chairman in support of that agreement? Because it seems like he's singing a different song. Are we having divergent, uh, divergent interests as far as the members of the NECA are concerned, the party chairman is concerned? If I hear you clearly, if I heard you clearly, asking during the next meeting, the powers we donated to the NWC. Yes, yes. Was the it powers what? we donated to the NWC. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe the, taking the decision I took it. On the issue of consensus? Yes, where the party chairman was in support, was in agreement, was part of that decision. Hello? Yeah, I'm asking if your national chairman, uh, can you hear me, sir? Hello, the line is seriously breaking. All right, we'll, we'll have to um, get back to our guests. Um, uh, I hope that our... Uh, I can hear you now. Oh, you can, can hear, hear you. you can hear me now, fantastic. Was, it, was your national chairman part of that decision to donate your powers to the NWC. Hello. All right. Uh, uh, Barrister, we'll, we'll, we'll try to reconnect with you. I hope that um, uh, we can successfully do that because of um, some important information you're sharing with us. But, but can you hear me now, sir? The line is serious. I don't know why. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to our guests. Uh, Mercy is quite a... Uh, uh, unfortunately, having this, but uh, it, very important because he is, uh, when he's a dramatist person, uh, he's in the middle of, of this story. Uh, so we'll try and get back to him. But indeed, uh, it was a, a surprise when um, the, uh, the news broke that the chairman had. In fact, the story was, oh, APC uh, makes Ahmed Lawan consensus candidate. But as the minutes went on, not even hours, minutes went on, it became clear um, that the party had not taking a decision, but the party had had a meeting of its National Working Committee where uh, the, the chairman, uh, it was said he gave his opinion and suggested that, uh, or dropped some sort of information, you know. But, but the jury is out as to whether this information shared by the party chairman is what is the will of President Muhammad Buhari. And I hope we can get um, our guest back on the line, Oga Eba, who is the... Um, the chairman of the All Progressives Congress in River in Cross River State, you know. So, so you know the debate as to whether this statement and this opinion by uh, Abdullah Adamu is the position of the president. Why are people saying that? It's because the president last year he sat down with a uh, with a journalist and he was interviewed and he asked uh, he was asked about this whole consensus candidature and he said that he will be keeping his uh, choice close to his chest, that if he reveals who his choice is, uh, people might begin to get at that person, you know, so he wasn't going to tell. And when he hosted the governors of the APC and the national chairman to a meeting last week, he also said that he had allowed, or he insinuated, uh, that he had allowed them to choose who, their successors. And for those who had uh, gotten the first term, the party had supported him to get a second term. So they should also allow him uh, and cooperate with him to, to choose a consensus candidate to succeed him, you know. So there was suspicion that that meant, or that was interpreted in some quarters, that that meant that the president uh, had a choice 
um, whom he would make known as time went on. But following the, the reaction to this um, uh, statement of purported uh, consensus candidature of Lawan by Adamu, the presidency has now come out to say we have no anointed candidate. We have no anointed candidate. Oh, it, no anointed it, it's candidate. a lot that's going on because if you, if, you, if you look at the papers this morning, you have uh, different uh, dimensions or you want to call them a faction. I mean, different statements uh, from different stakeholders in the same party. So on the other hand, you have Adamu saying that, you know, Akmil Lawan has been chosen as a... Uh, um, the, the flag bearer the, is, is the anointed one of the president. But, I'm, but, I'm, but, I'm just but, saying. But when you say chosen, saying, that's what the man. That's what the man. He said that President Buhari has picked Senator uh, Ahmed Lawan as his choice. That's what he's saying, right? And on the other hand, you have the northern, uh, the, the, the northern governors coming to say, "Hey, we are still bent on saying power should go to the south. You know, to the southern part of the country." And on the other hand, you have the president also saying, "I do not have any." Um, anointed candidates. And also, on the other hand, you have the National Working Committee saying, we are with the power, uh, you know, with the governors on power shift, uh, and the chairmanship is entitled to his opinion on Lawa. So, it, could it be that, you know, the chairman would be acting, you know, on his own, he, the, the chairman? I mean, you're talking about uh, Abdullahi right now, just waking up and saying things that, the, yeah. out of his own perception, the, out of his own interest. The, that, is, that, is, that is what we don't know. Um, uh, what he is reported as saying is that the uh, president, he told the NWC members <laughs> that, the pre that the president had uh, chosen. But I wonder why the president, uh, if he had chosen uh, uh, Ahmed Lawan, would not have said that. Because he had dinner with the um, uh, stakeholders of the APC on, on, on Sunday. You know, Tirubu was there, Oshibajo was there, Ahmed Lawan was there. He didn't say anything that we know. We don't know he, that he said that. He met with the governors and the party chairman last week. He didn't mention any name. Um, if if Lawan says this thing, or rather Damu says this to the uh, NWC members, how are they to know if that's the president's position? And, and you, you can't have a consensus candidature just like that. It's not something you just say. Any, you actually will call all the candidates together, sit them down. And they and have to agree. Even if you're going to, to, to give them an order, maybe you are an incumbent state governor, or you are a party leader in a state, all right, or at the federal level, even if you're going to give them an order, you actually will call them and say, this is it. You understand? This is it. And then, of course, we have the extant uh, laws, the Electoral Act 2022, that prescribes the procedure for, you know, consensus candidature in the party. Everybody has to agree, all the candidates. Not just agree, they have to agree in writing. They have to sign on paper, which I think is fantastic for democracy in Nigeria. I've been told that we have you a know, guest, but let's see right. if we can connect with him. Barrister uh, uh, Oga Eba, are you there, please? Good morning to you once again, uh, Barrister Eba. Yes, please. All right. Uh, please kindly turn off the volume of uh, the, uh, the audio where you are so that we don't have that feedback uh, because of, uh, you know, the way it works. All right. Thank you. So uh, I was asking before we went on the break, if... if the national chairman of your party uh, was part of this decision to donate the powers to pick a consensus candidate to the National Working Committee of the party. Thank you. We have been disconnected with uh, Martha Olga. It brings us back to the conversation. So, uh, but whatever, you, uh, whatever it is, a lot of people have described uh, what's going on with the APC. Like I rightly mentioned, if you follow. The APC is, right. Oh, yes. Yes, Barrister, we can hear you. Sorry, Messi. Can you hear us, sir? Hear me. Yes, can you hear us, sir? Can you hear me? Loud and clear, but can you hear us? Hello? Y yes, Barrister, we can hear you. Can you hear us? All right, obviously, uh, still um, uh, an audio issue uh, that uh, ho hopefully we'll, we'll get to overcome. But he's, a, he's a, um, like I said, dramatist, but he's one of those in the middle of this, this story. And it's important to get to hear from him, important to um, take his opinion and all that. Let's hope we can do that before, um, before we run out of time. It's a big story, Messi. No, it's a very big one. <laughs> big one, yeah. 
But in yeah. all of this, if, if you look at um, all this going on, you, you would want to say that um, that's, that's something that, that one cannot really understand. I, I don't think that the APC has been very I'll great on it. All right, so we, we do have uh, Barista Olga back. It's good to have you join us once again. Can you hear us? Okay. Hello. Barista, yes. can you hear us, please? Again, please. Can, can you hear us now? I can hear you now. All right. Uh, so we're asking for this uh, NEC meeting that held where your powers were donated to the NWC. Was the National Party chairman a part of this agreement, decision? Hello. Okay, so we, we probably might not have this conversation today, but hopefully we're able to have that. That's because, uh, um, you know, the convention would definitely run uh, from the 6th through the 8th, or maybe through the 9th. Today is the 7th, so through the 8th, so between now and tomorrow. We're hoping that we can still have him back, you know, to have this conversation. We're almost out of time, but we will try and see if we can reconnect with him. Poor uh, network connection right there. Uh, we apologize for this inconvenience this might cost you at this point in time. It brings me back to the position of saying that the APC has not been very clear on the issue of consensus. Like you have rightly mentioned, you have the extent law being very precise about if you're going to have a consensus candidate, how a consensus candidate will emerge. It won't just be by, you know, pronouncing a pronouncement, <laughs> I was going to say pronunciation, it won't be just a pronouncement of a chairman or any other person, an individual. Uh, it has to follow, you know, what the law has actually prescribed. So you have this aspirant who will come together and agree that, you know, we're picking an individual or a certain person uh, to become, you know, a flag bearer. So that, that hasn't really happened. And that's why you're saying, you know, you have the president saying, oh, I don't have an, an anointed um, candidate or I don't have a choice mm. and you have the National Working Committee on the other hand saying well the Northern governors or governors have actually agreed that we're going to shift power to the south and yeah. so yeah. it would be that candidates from the southern part of the country would stand a chance it's going to be an election and there will be you know elected so it, it's it's what well, let, let's see like. what happens uh, I mean like one paper put it, I think was the leadership newspaper saying that they are going for broke you know so um it is each man for himself, God for us all. Yeah, as far as the APC is And, and Second I think it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> you, know, you know, this whole idea of consensus, really, it is um, a, a way of, of, you know, it disenfranchises and, and robs people who just want to exercise their, their right and the opportunity they have to stand for an election. Even if they lose, at the end of the day, let them know they lost fair and square. You know, look at what happened with the PDP. You know, that uh, Tickle won fair and square. The uh, likes of Wiki, Buhari, Saraki, uh, Dede Mumudu, who said he never saw <laughs> the delegates list, and Faye Shenko, who never got any, they got zero votes. Uh, even Aim, who came from the southeast uh, with 100 delegates, so only saw 14. Um, all these people would have, you know, um, they would have exhausted themselves. It was like somebody who wants to complain to you, who has issues. If you don't allow them to talk, you don't listen to them, all right? they will not feel like they've been hurt. You have to let them exhaust themselves. When they're done, then you have a better chance of having a resolution. Uh, you know, so we'll it, it's very important. We'll be told that we have uh, Open Abonga Tari on standby. I'm sure that, uh, you know, Kofi, you probably might want to channel that question to him. Open Abonga, do we have you on the phone? Yes, you have me. Not on the phone, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, it's uh, video audio. Okay, it's good to have you join us this morning on The Breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Hello? Well, we, we, we definitely... We'll take a break now. When we return, we continue with The Breakfast. Please stay with us. <laughs> 